Hello everyone, my name is Will Carmack and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create like buttons with an After Effects. I've used this effect before when I created this choose your character video. You essentially can take a little square and an image and create something that looks like a button with an After Effects. It's kind of like a motion graphics design effect, but it comes in handy. Uh, I've also used it once when I worked with Space Station Gaming um, and I basically had these buttons show up that formed the scene that ended up happening. It's a cool effect, super easy, um, and for anyone who's into graphic design, motion design, knowing how to turn a little image into a button is actually really useful, especially if you want to do some like video game looking vibes. Oh, and before we get started, I just want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. And also, I'm in the Maldives right now for work, and it's so hot. So uh, that's why I look sweaty. I'm really sorry. And so what we'll do today is actually create a button with the icon of a mouse inside of it. So I'm actually gonna just drag a PNG picture of a mouse into my scene like this. Um, and so once you have your PNG image or whatever you wanna turn into like a button, the rest is super easy. I'll rename this file to a mouse. And then what we'll do, this is important. We'll come up to layer, new, and shape layer. And what this will allow us to do is create a shape. And we're simply just going to create a square. You can actually also just go up to this tool up here and choose whichever shape you'd like. And we're just gonna stick with a rectangle. And so we'll just click and drag. And you can actually hold shift to make sure that you have a perfect square, bam. And then we'll just drag that underneath of the mouse. And we can reposition the mouse to kind of like make a cool icon. That looks pretty centered. So again, PNG image in a shape layer. And what we can do is we can select both of these objects, right click and pre-compose. I'll just name this mouse button. And so from here, the rest is actually very easy. So you'll see this is just now one object. And so to create just kind of like a button look, we come to effects and presets and type in bevel. We come down over here to perspective and do bevel edges. And we'll drop that onto our pre-com. And you can almost immediately see what happens. It has now created these little slanted trapezoids on each side of this image. And in the effect controls panel, we can change the thickness of this image. So now it just looks like a button. And so that's kind of it, not gonna lie. All you have to do is just put the bevel edges effect on something that's like pre-composed in a square and it looks like a button. We can actually scale this down. You can even like duplicate it a million times and each one could have a different image. And so essentially you could have a panel like you see here in my choose your character video where every single button is like a different picture. And so you can make a 2D animation where a mouse is coming in and clicking on this button. I will delete most of these. And so if I scale up this button right here, I'll show you just how to animate someone like clicking on a button, super easy. So if I just drag this mouse PNG back into the image, I'll make it real small. I will drag it to maybe like the edge of the button here. And if we hit P on this mouse layer, we can create a keyframe for position. I'll drag that out just a few seconds and I'll just click on this mouse and drag it off the screen. And if we watch that back, you see the mouse is now coming towards the button. Just to like spice this up a little bit, you can actually move these handlebars on the path that you see on your screen. So you'll see that the mouse kind of like swoops in a little bit and let's drag these keyframes closer together. So we have the mouse coming in just like that. And what we can do is when the mouse mouse goes on top of this button, we can create a keyframe for scale on the mouse button that we've created. Go over a few frames and just drop it down go over a few frames and bring the scale back to what it was. And so it kind of looks like you're clicking on it. I'll make that go a little faster. So essentially what you're trying to recreate with these buttons is like in a website when your mouse hovers, hovers over something and you just click, the icon will like get small and big. Quick video game effect. I'll make everything way faster. From here, it's just playing around with keyframes. So I'll drag the bottom keyframes out and that's it. How great, it's pretty simple. So all you do is just keyframe a mouse coming onto your button and change the scale just a little bit, getting smaller and bigger. And this just replicates the look of you clicking on a button. And so, bam, that's an easy effect. To basically recreate a button in After Effects that's being clicked, you just need to create a shape layer and uh, put the bevel edges uh, effect on top of it. Bam, easy. And that's how you can create cool 2D animations like I did for these videos here. Which, not gonna lie, I love these videos so much. And that is how you create a button with an After Effects. 
And now that we've done the tutorial, I would like to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. So Squarespace, it is an all-in-one platform for marketing tools to analytics. It's just incredible. Let's say you're a photographer. You should absolutely sign up for Squarespace. You can upload all of your photos into their portfolios and gallery sections, which is basically a feature that allows you to put your work into award-winning designer templates. So when people come to your website to look at your photography, it's actually displayed in this glorious, cool way. And so if you want to make yourself stand out, look very professional as a photographer and a creator, I would very recommend using Squarespace's portfolios and galleries. And let's say you have a lot of different social medias, like you're on Instagram, you're on SoundCloud, etc. Well, Squarespace is perfect because it lets you stay connected. Basically, they have really good connected services. So you can embed your SoundCloud into your website. So people who come to your website could also like Go to your SoundCloud, check out your music. If you're like a food blogger who posts their stuff on Instagram, you can also embed your Instagram into your Squarespace website as well. So anybody who comes to your website can also find you on all of your other social platforms, which is really nice. That cross promotion goes a long way. And lastly, Squarespace has some killer analytics. If you wanna know who's coming to your website, where they're from, their age, anything you wanna know about your demographic, Squarespace's analytics just have all of those details. And for someone like me, who's like kind of dumb, using Squarespace analytics makes your life way easier because you can just read these numbers, all the details it's telling you, and just understand your website and how it's performing. So definitely, you want to use Squarespace because it's got analytics that will keep you running your ship smoothly. Best part is I got you guys hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash willcarmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. So yeah, go check out Squarespace. And also, thanks for sponsoring this video. It is greatly appreciated. And of course, don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day. Okay, I'm embarrassed that I dabbed. Should I redo it? Nah.